The J Deodorant team is proud to bring you the latest tools in the ongoing battle against code smell. My name is Raphael Stein, an undergraduate member of the J Deodorant research team, and I'm excited to be demonstrating J Deodorant's clone refactoring tool. We begin by opening Eclipse, where we have already installed the J Deodorant plugin. From our Bad Smells menu up here, let's click Duplicated Code. This brings up the Duplicated Code window. Let's import some clones data that we want to perform refactoring on. Click the little I. This brings up the Import Clones wizard. J Deodorant's specialty is finding refactoring opportunities in duplicated code. We use popular existing tools, like those seen here, to find clones, and then we import their results for analysis to J Deodorant. We will import Deckard results from an earlier scan for the J Free Chart package by selecting it and clicking Finish. J Deodorant will parse Deckard's results and ensure the offsets are consistent with the current state of the project. If there are inconsistencies, J Deodorant will skip those cases. We now have a tree table view populated with the clones, organized in clone groups for this project. A clone group is a set of two or more code fragments with duplicate code. We can expand the clone group and see the individual clone instance locations. Clicking on them brings us there directly. In the third column, we have subclone information. This tells us that this particular clone group, for example, the clones of clone group 37, are contained within some larger clones in the clone group 7. Hold down Control and select two clone instances you'd like to refactor. Right-clicking brings up a button that allows us to start the refactoring process. Let's click Refactor. Now, a sophisticated analysis is performed on the code to determine what differences can be parameterized. When analysis is finished, we are given a special view. This is the Clone Visualization tool. We are shown both clone instances, represented as trees, that can be navigated through easily by synchronized scrolling and collapsing elements as needed to help the user examine the code. In this case, there is only one difference between the clones, which is highlighted in yellow over here. If we hover over the difference, we get a tooltip which says that each clone is calling a different method. In the tooltip, we are also shown precondition violations. Having a precondition violation means there are some dependencies that don't allow us to move this fragment before or after the code. J Deodorant will initially attempt to simply move the differences outside the method and parameterize them, but in this case, that is not possible because there are variables being passed that are defined locally inside the clone. But thanks to the magic of Lambda expressions in Java 8, we can overcome these precondition violations. Let's give our new extracted method a valid name so we can proceed to refactor. I will call it draw stack and click preview. So what is J Deodorant proposing? Well, as we can see, in the method draw stack horizontal, the method will be replaced with a call to the draw stack method. Same thing in the draw stack vertical method. The last change being made is that our method draw stack is being created. Take a look at its method signature. The final parameter is a functional interface. The call to our new draw stack method passes a lambda expression, which calls the appropriate create block method. We are able to extract this out into a lambda expression because both method calls that were different in the clones, create horizontal block and create vertical block, take parameters of the same type and have the same return type, which is an array of objects. So now we can click OK and complete the refactoring. There we go. Our code is now refactored and smelling great. Let's look at another case, this time from Apache Ant. I should point out that if you suspect two methods to be clones or contain clones somewhere in your project, you can simply select the suspected methods and click Refactor in the right-click menu, like this. It is not necessary to import scan results, as we did earlier. So once again, we get our clone visualizer. We see some differences in yellow, which our tooltip tell us our name and literal value mismatches. But most noticeably are these red unmapped statements. These are blocks of code that are totally different in each clone. And because of precondition violations, that is, they depend on local variables, they can't be moved before or after the clone. However, J Deodorant will detect that collectively, they both take the same input type, an integer, and produce the same output type, a Boolean. Thus, it is ripe for a lambda refactoring. Let's click Preview. So J Deodorant gives us a clear picture of what it will do. It turns out that both the containing classes are subclasses of the same superclass. So an intermediate superclass is created, and the extracted method is pulled up. Then, the method calls are replaced with calls to the new extracted super method. Take a look here. The second parameter passed is a lambda expression containing the unmapped statements. Then, in the extracted method, the lambda expression parameter is called. So we can click OK, and the refactoring is performed. So that's it for this demo. Thank you very much for watching. Check out our project page and GitHub repository at the links below. Have a great day.